Good afternoon, everybody. How are we all doing? It's coming up three o'clock, and I'm a bit annoyed with myself, to be honest. I I hope you're all doing fine. Anyway, I'm just on the school run, um, but there's some part behind me. I just clocked his window open. I don't want him hearing my conversation. So I did. So I started the video this morning, and. On my morning routine, get up, and usually if I've nowhere to go, I just put a jumper over the top of my PJs, I go, and then I get up, go to the bathroom, go and let the dog out, let the cats in, then I let Tom's dog out, and then I'm back in, arguing with Olivia, because at the minute she's got an attitude, a proper attitude on. Um, she's not that bad, but you know, teenagers think they know it all trying to get her out to school this morning but she was trying to say she was feeling sick but I just knew she she was acting it I know when she's poorly and she she was trying to skip a day because she doesn't like baking cooking or whatever you want to call it in class so I did that and I started doing my morning routine what I do when so in because I, I think I showed you to do the dog routine and I, I had my medication out went to take showed you my medication box the stupid me after I reviewed it, because I, I had to delete it, because I could not for life of me edit it properly to blur out the, the bit that I needed. <sighs> I let, so when I was looking through, sorry, just, I need to tell, do you ever do that when you, you can't get to the point you need to tell a story for it to make sense? <laughs> so I have a dosset box that I get weekly from the chemist. And you have to pop in the plastic and get your medication. That bit wasn't a problem. It was a leaflet before that. The plastic bit on the top, it had my name and address on it. And for love of money, I could not blur it out and I didn't know what to do. And I, every time I put a sticker over it, the box moved so... And I couldn't get a it just I just cocked it up, basically, so I just deleted it. I thought, you know what, I need, I need, I need to mo be more... Pra I need to practice more. That's probably what it is. So I'm just sat waiting for Olivia and I'm just gutted because I did some footage as well whilst I was out at the opticians with Hannah, not like that bit, um, but went in the range, that's all gone. Oh, I just, I, I feel like kicking myself up backside if I could bend me like that foot far. <laughs> anyway, so oh, it's a bit warm as well, but there's a guy behind me in a car and... Yeah, I'm just waiting for Olivia. So the weather is it just started hailstoning as I came out. So <laughs> yeah. I am actually pretty tired after doing that uh run to the optician. Well, I didn't literally run. <laughs> you know what I mean? Drive. My left knee, I swear to God, it is killing me. I don't know, I can't, it's just, it's painful, and because it's an automatic car, I just use my right leg, and my, my son goes, why don't you use both as a car, because I've, I've been taught how to drive with but one leg, but I don't know if anyone else who has fibro and you drive, let me know if you do, comment in the below, so I know. I feel like I've, even though I'm sat and I look, my body looks straight, I feel like my hips are twisted, if you know what I mean. Or is it just me? I haven't got a clue, but um, it, it just feels like I'm sat weird. I did have a seat thing for my, in my previous car, and I don't know what I've done with it. It's like a circle disc thing, and when you get out, you just... Oh, automatically it turns so you can easily get out and do whatever you need to do i have got some adjustment things for my car for the steering wheel for when one of my hands hurts it's like a, a, a knob thing knob i mean hob i don't what do you what do you call it a knob handle thing you attach it to your car and it's, it turns you can turn it with that i think i said that wrong please dot dot <laughs> <coughs> Don't laugh at me. I feel like I C O U N T. <laughs> but yeah, I got some wellies though from the range because when I want to take the dog out when I've 
I'm having a okay day. At least I've got some wellies now. And they were seven quid, so I thought, yeah, that'll help, in we know. Uh, I did do a YouTube short. Someone left a comment. I can't remember what it said. But the tent that we got is not for me. It's for my son. It's like a one-man tent. But it's... it's oh, I can't remember. You have to have a look on the, the, my YouTube short. It's a one-man tent. And you can have your dog. And you, you, you get an adjustment where you put in the dog thing. Like a screw thing in the ground. And then you attach your dog leash to the connection bit. So your dog can... Got in and out of the tent as it pleases. So he's got that and he's on about doing like a walk, something in the summer when better weather. He just goes off for about a week or something and just explores. I don't know where he's on about doing it, but I'm not one for uh, <laughs> being in a tent and outdoors. I don't think my body will allow it. And plus I have other animals and commitments at home. Um, and today it was really difficult for Anna. I felt really... F f sorry, I'm spoiling, but I can't... I'm too afraid to have my window open because they can hear me. Yeah, I keep the wrong one. Um, so, obviously, I don't know if many of you... Any new subscribers that have seen my videos, you won't know unless you've seen my previous. My daughter is 24, but she's autistic. She's got selective, selective mutism, Asperger's, and she just won't, she, at the minute, she just kind of won't talk. So, obviously, I had to do that for her, and I'm not the best of communication. Luckily, it was just the basic, what's your name, date of birth, and thingy, blah, blah, blah. But I did put in the notes when I was booking online that she's autistic and she don't talk. So, but one of them were the optician himself who did the eye test was re really great. The lady that signed us in, she was fantastic. But the the last lady that did the glasses, you know, when they do the glasses, fit the handles and stuff to make sure it's all right. She was a bit like looking at Hannah like she was rude. Now I know sometimes it come people. I don't know some. Bit, People that struggle with keep talking, like, you know, autism, they, it looks like they're being rude, but they're not. They just don't know how to communicate, and that's what it is with Anna. She just struggles with communication, and I felt so thingy for her. And she was, she took her knitting with her. She, like, crooked right fast. And even when the woman was like that with her glasses, you know, at the end, trying them on, she's still stitching, even though she's walking straight forward. Are you, are you uh, a Wonder Woman, Anna? <laughs> so she was, I don't know what she was knitting, because I asked her, she was I don't know. I was like, are you just knitting for the sake of knitting? So we got some new wool anyway, so she's got more wool. She'd knitted a boyfriend a blanket, a lap blanket, so when he's on his computer, he has a blanket over his legs. So yeah. But yeah, today it's just like I say, I lost all my footage and I'm kicking myself for it. This is how I need a good camera, good laptop, and I can do it and practice on the laptop. I might try and do a live as well at the weekend, depending on how I feel, because doing that today has just wiped me clean out. I'm not kidding you. I want to pick Olivia up and go to bed. And it's the weather's not been so bad until now, and it always waits till school time. And <laughs> even when I used to have to walk, that was where oh, that was a killer, you know. And some people might really, if you're a fibro, fibro warrior and you're a single parent and you don't have anyone to pick up your child from school, it is really hard because you literally have to force yourself up to go and pick them up and especially when you don't have any transport and at the where I'm living now where a primary school is, is down a big steep hill and it's steep hill and the amount of times I fell coming home and then it was costly to get on the bus and then I started getting a taxi I sit one to I don't walk down took me for a bit of walk down and then coming home I just sometimes I get a taxi but then it's like half an hour to 40 minute wait because of school times let me know in the comments below if you struggle with that because even though I've got a car now, I still struggle with chronic fatigue and it's hitting me. And I'm tired now. 
it's just wiped me out today. The opticians, I'm just looking around range. I said, Tom, I'm going to go home. I'm, my left knee is absolutely killing me. Sorry, I'm, I actually do feel real tired. Uh, so I'm just going to get up open get out and just stand outside for it and wake up a little bit before Olivia comes back but yeah that's my day really guys and I am still trying to I, I have been trying because someone asked me to do some mental health videos I have made a good thingy on canvas but it's not allowing me to save it to my phone so I don't know what's going off there so I have made one I just need to upload it but anyway guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And that notification bell so you don't miss any further uploads. And comment down below and like this video because it helps uh, YouTube push my video out. So then other people can get to see my ugly face or pretty face like we should say. Never put anybody down, never put yourself down. I'm just having, I just I'll try and have a joke there but sorry. I didn't mean to uh, upset anyone but or offend anyone. I'm just having a little... I, sometimes I like to take the mic out myself, but, you know, sometimes I, I, I'll go too fast. But anyway, don't forget, like this video, share it to your friends. Get your friends to subscribe and watch my videos and see how I can make a mic idiot out myself. And I will be doing... I didn't do my shopping today because a bill decided to come through the door and he needed a pain so we'll do it first there a budget just essential Ooh, oh my lord oh it's starting to chuck it down and my car window's open oh look out what were i saying yeah just essential has that i will do on thursday because I'm, I'm this as that anyway if my little legs and arms and body will allow it as I'm seeing my CPN, so and that's stressing itself. So I'll catch you with soon, guys. Like I said, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell, and spread the word. Let's get these views up, and let's get the comments and stuff like that, because it does help with the algorithm. It pushes out to other people. I'll see you soon. Bye.